What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to actually talk about a little update where it's actually going to be coming into a very big update and that's actually going to be tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to get all the update for season 7. But for right now this itself, this little update what we do have, it feels absolutely ginormous. And basically what is actually happening is the gunplay is going to change really big. SMGs are going to get a buff, the ARs and LMGs are going to get a nerf. So before we get into the video troopers, you haven't already subscribed to the channel we're really getting close to 19,000 subscribers really the goal is is get to 20,000 subscribers and i know we can definitely do that in a couple of months so if you haven't already subscribed i would really appreciate it thank you so as DICE has quoted, they have said that they are introducing a shift in meta when it comes to the balancing between the weapon categories. So this is going to change a lot of things, especially when it comes to the TTK. And pretty much this big change is all going to happen when it actually comes to the headshot multiplier. So pretty much the headshot multiplier for the SMGs is actually going to be increased and it's going to benefit from a 1.55x headshot multiplier. And that's going to be extremely more close quarters combat and that's going to actually help out way more with the headshot shot TTK and when it comes to ranges from 30 to 50 meters it's actually going to be a free headshot kill range but this was the one question when I was reading these notes was well what about the PB29 the SMG is going to get a buff well that gun's going to be extremely good because it has like 60 some big rounds and it seems like the only weapon that isn't going to get a big buff in the SMG class is the PB29 and I probably that's because of the magazine count but that's the thing so now we're going to get the SMGs actually performing just like SMGs close range actually going to be doing doing so much more better at them distance and then longer ranges is going to be a bit more of a struggle when it comes to your recoil and your bullet velocity and now when it comes to that using the SMGs are not going to be as good at ranges but really good at close ranges and what they're pretty much doing with the assault rifles is making it where the close range is not going to be as good compared to medium to longer ranges so now what they're trying to do is with the ARs is try to balance it into the same category of the SMGs so the ARs are actually not going to be doing a two headshot range kill at close combat anymore it's actually going to require three headshots to the head to get that kill because the reality was when you was using an assault rifle most of the time you could actually outperform someone at close range and it's an assault rifle it's really supposed to be for more of that medium range to longer ranges actually trying to balance between the two so the ars and the assault rifles just feel kind of the same or a little bit similar when it comes to close range and basically the lmgs are the same change as well it's the same change when it comes to the ars it won't be doing a two headshot kill at close range anymore It'll be doing free headshot kill so pretty much troopers the best way to gather this and just kind of explain it a little bit more easier for you guys is basically rebalancing all of the weapons but it's a really good thing because now we know we're going to get the visual recoil change as well all of the weapons are going to feel extremely different and that's all the information we have right now tomorrow i will get all the full patch notes so i will cover everything then but this is just some juicy news right now but yeah please don't freak out this is really just kind of rebalancing stuff and honestly it isn't a bad thing but compared to reading the patch notes to actually play in the game is a whole different ball game so we gotta kind of wait for that but anyway troopers tell me what you think about this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe be a part of the pink wig army and i'll see you on the battlefield